Assalamu alaikum everyone. Uh, today we are going to talk about uh, numbering systems which falls under week number two for module one. In this module we are going to talk or in this week we are going to talk about numbering systems. So mainly we are going to talk about binary numbering systems, then decimal numbering systems which is the numbering system we are used to, then we have octal and hexadecimal numbering systems everything will be done with examples so let's go forward so basically we have decimal which is the base 10 what do we mean by the base 10 it means we uh, we count from 0 to 9 this is 10 digits binary is the computer language we count from 0 to 1 then we have octal and hexadecimal Octal, we count from 0 to 7, and hexadecimal, we count from 0 to 15, as follows. We count 0, 1, 2, 3, sorry, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, then we have A, B, C, D, E, and F. Now, A corresponds to, sorry, A corresponds to 10, B to 11, C, 12, D, 13, 14, this is an F, and 15. So hexadecimal, hexadecimal is basically from 0 to 15, 16 digits. Now, what we need is the humans, they use only decimal. Computers, they don't use decimal. Computers, they use binary. Humans, they don't use binary. But if you look over here at, if you look over here, at these four values, neither the human nor the computers use these values. So why do we need them? Basically, we need them for data representations. Now, when I say octal is from 0 to 7, that is 8 digits. 8 digits is basically the holding of 1 byte remember we talked about this last week so this is one byte and we get it from the eight digits over here so the idea is we hold more data in it now hexadecimal is a totally different story so these you are going we can see how we count from zero to seven in decimal in binary zero one two Three, four, five, six, seven. Hexadecimal still the same, no change in hexadecimal. Then we have eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Now let's go and count from in binary zero, one, ten, eleven, one hundred, one hundred and one, one hundred and ten, and so on. But let's look in octal. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 7 is our maximum. After 7, we get 10. 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17 is our maximum. Then we get 20. From 20 to 27 and so on. In hexadecimal, we count 0. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, uh, 8, 9, A, B, C, D, E, F. After F, we get 10, which corresponds to, sorry, which corresponds to 16. Let me just delete this. So we have 10, which corresponds to 16 over here 
Then we have 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15, 16, 17. What's after 17? Let us write down here. 17, 18, 19, then 1, 8, 1, V, 1, C, One C one D one E one F twenty twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, two A, two B, two C, two D, two E, two F. 40 and so on so what we are going to learn uh, during this semester or this week we are going to learn how to convert between decimal and binary then then how to convert so first of all we are going to learn how to convert between decimal and binary then decimal and octal both ways decimal and hexadecimal, binary and octal, hexadecimal and octal, and then finally hexadecimal and octal at the end. Now, for example, if I say 25 in decimal, this is our base. So this is in decimal. This is base 2, which is base 2 is what? Base 2 is, sorry, base 2 is binary, right? Base 8, it is octal. And base 16 is what we call hexadecimal or short we write hex. So this is the base, 25 in decimals is 11,001 in binary, is 31 in octal, and is 19 in hexadecimal. It is the same number. It is the same number. Now, if we have this number, which is 125, so if we go to the basics, you can see that it is, here I'll put 0, 1 and 2 and it is of base 10 so what is this number equal to it is equal to 5 multiplied by 10 to the power 0 plus 2 multiplied by 10 to the power 1 plus 1 multiplied by 10 to the power 2. Now, 10 to the power 0 is 1 immediately. Anything to the power 0 is 1. So we have 5 multiplied by 1 plus 2 multiplied by 10 plus 1 multiplied, sorry, 1 multiplied by 100. So we have 5 plus 20 plus 100, which is equal to 1, 2, 5. Similarly, we can do the same for any numbering systems. Now, Let's say I want to change from binary to decimal. Now, to change from binary to decimal, let's take an example and say that we have the binary number 110101. Okay, so this is in base binary. So first of all, if I want to convert it into decimal, so this is our base decimal. 
So what we are going to say, do first, we are going to number, okay? We are going to put the numbers on top here. So this is zero, one, two, three, four, and five. Then, sorry, then, We are going to say it is one, okay, multiplied one, multiplied by two, which is the base to the power zero, plus zero, multiplied by two to the power one, plus one, multiplied by 2 to the power 1 plus 0 multiplied by 2 to the power 3 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 4 plus 1 multiplied by 2 to the power 5. Now, 1 multiplied by 2 to the power, two to the power 0 is 1. 1 multiplied by 1 is 1. Plus 0. Plus 2 to the power 1 is 2. Plus 0. Plus 2 to the power 4 is 16. Plus 2 to the power 5 is 32. So we have 1 plus 2 is 3, 3 plus 16 is 19, 19 plus 32 is 51. 19 plus 32 is 51 is your answer. So 51 will be available over here. Okay, so this is how we go from binary to decimal. So this is again explained over here. What's missing here is the numbers. So I will put here 0, 1, 2, sorry, 2, 3, 4, and 5, sorry, again, and 5. So this is how to get these numbers over here. Now from octal to decimal, it is the same idea. Let's say I have a number which is five, three, one in octal, and I want to change it into decimal. So once more, same idea, let me just change the color. This will be, 0, 1, and 2. So our answer is going to be something like this. We are going to say 1 multiplied by 8, which is our base, to the power 0, plus 3 multiplied by 8 to the power 1, plus 5 multiplied by 8. 8 to the power 2. So this is 8 plus 3 multiplied by 8 is 24 plus 5 multiplied 5 multiplied by 64 is 320. This is all equal to 5 three, sorry, 300, sorry, again. So this is all equal to 
so this is equal to 352 we just sum all the numbers to get our result so 300 and 52 same idea when it comes to hexadecimal let's assume we have the number a 5 um, b a 5 b is in hexadecimal and i want to change it into decimal a 5 b so again this is zero one two so we have b which is 11 or i will say b multiplied by 16 to the power zero plus five multiplied by 16 to the power one plus a multiplied by 16 to the power 2. So once more, it is b, which is 11, multiplied by 16 to the power 0, plus 5, multiplied by 16 to the power 1, plus 10, which is corresponding to a, multiplied by 16, sorry, multiplied by 16 to the power 2. So here we have 11 plus 5 multiplied by 16 is 80, sorry for the handwriting, plus 10 multiplied by 16 multiplied by 16 so we have 16 multiplied by 16 is 256 multiplied by 10 it is 2560 now if we sum the numbers to it so plus 91 it will be The answer over here, I will write it. It will be two six five one decimal. You can see that a small number in hexadecimal represents a larger number in decimal because the base here is greater than the base over here. So if we are converting, we get this number. If I will go back. A small number or a big number over here represented a smaller number over here because this base is smaller than this base. When it was here, the base over here was larger than the base. So the number that we are going to present will be a bigger number. Now, binary to decimal and decimal to binary, binary, uh, sorry, decimal to binary are the uh, explaining in the second part of our lecture this one involves division so until then i hope to see you soon thanks for watching